Hello everyone, Lumina, or Lumina, whatever, however you say it, is out today. A new exotic hand cannon, haven't had one of those in like, what, a month? So it's time to go get it. As usual, I will just be listing the steps of the quest in this video. First off, to start the quest, you're gonna go back to where Thorn was originally found last season. This is located in the salt mines on the EDZ. You're gonna take the teleporter up, go past the barrier wall, and up the cliff. Go past where you grab Thorn and open the chest. The chest will tell you to visit a specific location which gives your next objective. However, this location changes every hour and as of this writing has had six different locations. I will try to include as many locations in the description of this video as possible, but otherwise if you don't see it there, I would probably just Google it or look on Reddit or something like that. After finding this next chest, you'll need to generate 250 orbs of light, but this can be done in a team if you have one. My team went to Blind Well to get this done, using all masterwork weapons to complete it quickly. We were done before the final wave, which was pretty convenient for the next step of the quest. You'll be given Rose, the legendary hand cannon, after you complete that step, along with three tasks in order to improve the weapon and progress the quest. The three things are as follows. 50,000 points in a nightfall, it's pretty easy. Multi kills without reloading your weapon, also pretty easy. And completing blind well, forges, or escalation protocol. You need 35 points to do this step. A full forge run gives four points. Blind well, I think gives seven points for a full run plus a tier four boss. And escalation protocol gives one per wave with three at the end for killing the boss. Escalation Protocol was changed a while ago so that when you kill the final boss, it resets you back to wave 6, not wave 1. Therefore, this is probably the way to go if you can get a group rolling. If you only have 3 people, or maybe you just don't want to do Escalation Protocol, Vlunder Forge only takes about 4-5 to five minutes to do for 4 points, which means you'll need to do 9 forges. It really just depends on whatever you can end up doing the fastest. This part's gonna take a little while, no matter what. After completing those three steps, your Rose Hand Cannon will be upgraded to its maximum potential, and you'll get the next part, where you need to complete activities with Rose equipped, and playing with others who also have it equipped makes this go faster. A strike is worth 12% with three people all using the gun, only 3% for solo, so you could just spam run Lake of Shadows a whole bunch. Menagerie with six people all using Rose gives 35% per run, so three of those will work, and... Those are the two that I recommend you do because they're probably the easiest. Note that Nightfall is also 12%, so you don't need to do the Nightfall if you don't want to, unless it's like a Shadows and then you can speedrun it. The next step after this involves a little PvP, just a little bit. You need to kill Guardians with a hand cannon as a team. You need to generate 50 Orbs of Light. That does not need to be in PvP at all, by the way. It can be in PvE. And you need to kill an invader in Gambit before they kill anyone on your team, and it needs to be done quickly. Basically, you need to get a Not On My Watch medal. You need to earn the medal. You cannot have someone else do it. For the hand cannon kills, a killing blow is worth 4%, while an ally killing blow is worth 1%, and you do not lose progress. It can also be done with any hand cannon. It does not need to be Rose, but hey, Rose is, you know, it's kind of crispy. The 50 orbs, just run around with a masterwork weapon or visit a bunch of rally flags and pop supers to get those done. That's not that difficult. The final step is to run Will of the Thousands with Rose equipped. You will need it equipped to kill the crystals that are floating in the strike. That's what those have been for. There are significantly more than 11 crystals in the strike, so don't worry about that at all. I don't know if you get anything for killing every single crystal, but if I find something out, it'll be in the description. You need to kill your own crystals. You need to shoot them. Then you kill Zol with Rose equipped to get your new exotic hand cannon. Note that you need to complete both objectives in one run. If you want to, you can pull Rose out of the collections. It's, it's not bad. It's, it's not bad. The gun functions similarly to Thorn in that its main bonus revolves around the remnant mechanic where you spawn a remnant when you get a kill. When you pick one up, you'll get a Noble Round. These stack up to five times. When you hip fire the weapon, you'll fire a Noble Round, which is similar in shape to a Warlock Healing Grenade. This round will seek out an ally, heal them significantly, and give both you and the ally a buff. 
The buff lasts 10 seconds, can be refreshed, and boosts your damage in PvE by 35%. In PvP, it was just under a 20% buff, bringing Lumina headshots from 68 to 81. Benevolent Dawn can also proc on this. In PvE, the gun isn't too bad, but this exotic is an example of a weapon that's exotic because of its function, and maybe not necessarily its power. The hand cannon's fine, the effect is really cool and quite powerful, but considering how easy the average activity is in the game, I don't see a huge use for this gun in any sort of competitive way, I don't think it's a top tier option, there are much more effective weapons than this. I can see it being used in some weird challenge ideas that the community might come up with and stuff like that, but otherwise I think most people will end up messing around with it and then maybe throwing it in the vault, I don't know. In PvP, you really need to play around the remnant mechanic to make this gun worthwhile. The situation you want to put yourself in is where you have a noble round, are running around with a teammate, you heal them, you damage buff both of you, and then you chain this together as much as possible so that you can snowball. The healing is very significant, but it doesn't give an overshield or anything like that, so one-shot weapons are not really going to be impeded by that. Chaining this together will make for some really awesome moments. If... That is, you can actually make this situation happen with regularity. That will be the issue that most people experience with this gun, creating situations where you are actually utilizing the remnant mechanic and the noble rounds. You need to play around it basically all the time. For some people, this is going to be a fun challenge. For others, it's just going to be a bother and not worth the effort at all. The hand cannon hits for 68 to the head, so if you're just outside of that max range, you might hit some times where you don't three-shot kill, so be aware. If you're not playing around the remnant mechanic, it's basically just a 150 RPM hand cannon. Overall, the gun is pretty interesting with its main perk, introduces a very unique function into the game, but I'm not sure how it'll hold up to some of the beastly weapons we currently have in the game. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.